Hello, my name is Will Holt. These are three lessons that I learned from rowing and how they apply to life. So I'm on the crew team here and before that I rowed in high school for a bit. And these are three lessons that I learned and more recently how they apply to life. So I'll just jump right into the rules. Uh, some of these names aren't great, but um, the first one's the 90% rule. And the second one is there are no bad days. And the third one is expect perfection. So the first one is uh, about how your first good stroke takes 90% of the work. Now this isn't like a, a strict rule. This is just kind of what I've noticed. And what it means basically is that after you've taken your first good stroke, you're 90% of the way there. And it might feel like you're not, but now all you're doing is, is what I call chasing the feeling, right? And that's why I'm always stressing with, with the, the athletes that I'm coaching to always think about how you're feeling, how the stroke feels, right? What body emotions are you doing? What uh, sensations are you feeling? Because if you've been paying attention, now that you've taken that one good stroke, you're basically there. Now all that the trial and error is over, of trying to figure out how to take a good stroke. You just have to chase that feeling. And that, that's the easy part, in my opinion. And now, how that applies to life is if you've been depressed or anxious or angry or, or anything like that for a long period of time, if you have even a, a small period where you're, you're feeling okay, where you're feeling happy, right, that's, that's phenomenal, right? It's... It gives you like the hope that things will get better. It means you, you are further along in, in your growth than you think. Because if you've felt good for a little bit, right? If you can figure out like what you were doing, like what you were thinking, what brought you to being in that, that better place, you just have to like chase that feeling again, right? Try to like recreate what made you happy. Try to figure out like why that stuff made you happy and that is much easier than just banging your head against a wall like trying to figure out like what will make you happy right you've done 90 percent of the work now you just have to do that last 10 percent just like put everything together and and figure out how you can be consistently in a, in a better mindset and like how i'm always stressing with my athletes to pay attention to what's going on when they're in the boat I think mindfulness is the same thing, right? I think that's that's a big reason why mindfulness is so important. So you actually think about, okay, what did make me happy? And then once you know what that is, you just have to put it all together and be consistent. Okay, rule number two, there are no bad days. So what this rule is about is that no matter how bad you, you think your day went, no matter how awful you think you were rowing or how bad the everything felt or how bad the conditions were or anything like that, it was still productive. You still learned something, even if you don't think you did, right? And this, this kind of ties back into the 90% rule a little bit, where most of the effort you're putting into doing something is wrong. It's trial and error. It's, it's trying to figure out how to do something right, which means you're going to do it wrong a lot of the time. So even if you felt like the day was terrible, it wasn't. You still learned something. And this one I feel like doesn't need a whole lot of explanation to how it translates to life. Really, you could be depressed for like months straight and it might not feel like you're growing or learning or doing anything, but you are. Right? It's, it's very difficult to have a completely unproductive day. Even if you feel like you did absolutely nothing, you probably just needed some rest. It, I think you have to go out of your way, actively trying to not have a productive day. Because otherwise, you're learning something. You're, you're learning how to better deal with depression. You're learning how to better uh, understand your emotions. You're, you're making slight changes that in the short term seem like they don't make a difference but over time you'll see these these huge changes that you'll only really be able to understand after the fact so that's why in the moment 
it's really important to understand that there are no bad days. You're still learning, you're still growing, and to stay positive. Now it's rule number three, expect perfection. This one might take some explanation. So what, what it means is not that you should expect yourself to be perfect all the time and that you should never put work in and that you should be disappointed when you're not perfect. That's not what this means. What it means is that you should expect the conditions to be perfect. It doesn't matter how offset the boat is now, how uh, bad the conditions are, how like, choppy the water is, how windy it is. You should expect that the conditions will be perfect next stroke, even if you know they won't be, because it's really important to not rope worse to try to compensate for poor conditions. Because think about it like this. If you're doing something weird in your stroke to try to compensate for the boat being really offset, then on the next stroke, the boat is set because, you know, that happens sometimes. Now you don't have time to fix your stroke and all you're doing is, is enabling these, these bad habits. You're, you're not going to be able to row well when the boat is set. So you have to assume on every single stroke that the boat is going to be set. And if it's not, that doesn't matter. The next one, it will be set. It's essentially unwavering positivity. And I think it's by far the hardest one of these rules to, to learn and, and to do consistently, but it's the most important. Now, how that applies to life is you have to expect that each day is going to be perfect. It doesn't matter how bad your current day is, the next one is gonna be amazing. So it's important to not get frustrated or or lose hope because you know that the next day will be better and even if it's not well then the next day will be better and you just have to have this this positive mindset because otherwise when there is a good day it'll pass you by a great example for this that that i learned a while back is dress every day like you're gonna meet the love of your life because if you don't, if you just lose hope and you give up and you dress like a slob every day because there's no point, then on that one day where you do meet that one person, but they're like, oh, this guy's a slob, he never showers, he looks gross, and then they move on, then you missed your, your opportunity right there. So you have to go into every day assuming that the best is going to happen, because otherwise, even if it does happen you won't be ready you'll miss your chance so the main focus of rule three is to not waste opportunities now if we look at all three rules as a whole uh, you kind of need to do them in order right if if you understand that once you've taken one good stroke you've done 90 percent of the work then you start to realize that there's no bad days because this this work isn't wasted it's just 90 percent of what it takes to finally have something happen. And then you need to realize that you don't know when that will be, or you don't know when you'll take your first good stroke. So you just have to assume that it'll be the next one. So each of these lessons that I learned kind of lead into the next. And I think where I ended up is the same place that we ended in the last lecture, which was the attitude of gratitude. I think where it differs is that I kind of skipped the first few modules because if I'm talking about rowing, then you already have your community and you've discovered your, your passion and you have like your values and motivation and whatnot. And I went straight to self-awareness and Tigger and Eeyore and the attitude of gratitude, but just looked at it from a rowing perspective. But what I think is really interesting is that you could use these values to apply to almost anything. We've already established that it could be life, could be rowing. It could be any other sport. It could be any hobby. I think really these are just the values for anything that requires growth. So what I think is a really important takeaway from this is that by practicing your mentality for anything will help you in every other aspect of life. Anything that's worth doing will help you with other things that are also worth doing. So it all goes back to, right, there's no wasted time. You're always growing. You're always improving. And that is really important and really special.
So thank you for listening to my last lecture.